bhajan hall. You know, the front door of the bhajan hall, uh, which is just next to the interview room door. Okay, we were sitting there, and you know, uh, when if you go early, you get a chance to sit there, and Swami comes, he will see you, and when he goes inside for interview, he will see you, when he comes out from interview, he will see you, and there are chances of uh, some interaction. So, one afternoon, in those days, Swami used to give darshan around uh, 3.30, 3.45, like that. I think it was vacation. I had gone and sat there. And as Swami called a group of devotees, uh, He told them, go inside. And as they were going inside, Swami came inside the bhajan hall. And looked at two of us who were sitting. Uh, one person named Kannan and myself. And Swami asked, Hostel or Yantamandi Unaru? How many people are there in the hostel? He told the number, some, that time it was 450 or something. Yantamandi Chachpayaru, Swami asked. How many people died? They were shocked. Okay. Then, this boy was sitting next to me. He said, Swami, when you are there for us, how can we die? He told it with such sincerity, you know, that Swami had started moving towards the interview room because everyone had come inside, came back and said, Pangaru, it is not like that. What I meant was, how many people have lost body consciousness? That's what I meant by how many people So, we are both relieved and uh, everything proceeded as usual after that and uh, I think it was about a year later um, this boy was involved in an accident. There were a few boys who were coming from Pati to Vrindavan. The thing was the previous night Swami had actually sent word to Pati that nobody should come to Vrindavan. And uh, these boys, uh, they were the first batch of people signs or something that time. Okay. So these boys had finished exam earlier than the others. Okay. They had finished that day. And so they all shifted off to the mandir. Okay. So the message didn't reach them. So early morning they started. On the way, they had an accident. Okay. And of course this news was carried to Swami by one of the people occupants the, the thing and uh, you know Swami was having his food Swami was just about to eat after the morning darshan when suddenly this person came and uh, that boy seeing that Swami was about to eat he tried to back up Swami had noticed by the time he called him, called him and what happened what happened and he said Swami Kannan is very serious He's had a very serious internal injury and all his organs are, you know, mashed up. And he just got up, okay, just pushed the plate, come, come. Called for the car, went straight to the hospital. That Sanjay Gandhi accident hospital. Created Vibhuti, gave it to this boy and Swami returned. And to this day he is alive. What I am telling you is, see, Swami knows what is there ahead of us. So He creates a situation by which okay, um, you can make a prayer to Him and that sincerity He uses to save you later. See, this boy just said that, you know, Swami, when you are there for us, how can we die? Nobody would have thought there would be an accident like that and it would be such a serious accident and all that. And at that point when he needed, Swami physically went. Swami travelled all the way to city, gave him vibhuti and came back. And the doctors said that it's a miracle.